Rob Stocklosa, Application Engineer with TPM out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're going to take a look at the SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation Electronic Cooling Module. Dedicated SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation tools augmented with the Electronic Cooling Module perform a complete thermal analysis, quickly and easily testing changes during design before any physical prototypes are built. The electronic cooling module uses dedicated electronic thermal models created through SOLIDWORKS computational fluid dynamics to predict airflow, temperature, and heat transfer among other things. Airflow optimization, heat sinks and heat pipes, fan selection, two resistor components, joule heating, PCB generators, and other benefits of our engineering database easily accessible and customizable to meet your needs. Coupled with SOLIDWORKS Flow, we're able to generate excellent output for communicating with the rest of our team throughout our company or the rest of our clientele. To confirm this heat sink performs based on the CFD computations, We're going to take the heat sink and bring it into its own environment to analyze it further and really hone in on whether or not it will perform and if there's any modifications required. The current heat, average values, and temperatures can be displayed and compared between many different iterations. This makes honing in on the proper path to take when faced with very dynamic and complex challenges. All this information can be further exported into an Excel spreadsheet and formatted to create charts and graphs. At this point I want to take a look and see exactly what went on with that heat sink as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to take these results and export them, save them to my hard drive, and bring them in to a static or if I'm looking for something a little further or I want to confirm my results I could do a transient thermal analysis. The few quick check marks pointing to the results that I created earlier I'm able to import that load data and run the study in a matter of minutes. Making changes to the original design and rerunning my studies gives me the results for yet another iteration. I'm Rob Stocklosa. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.